today I'm going to show you how an ALU works in Cordis. An ALU is short for an arithmetic logic unit. It represents a fundamental building block for a central processing unit, otherwise known as a CPU. Most operations for a CPU are done by more than one ALU that has data from load registers. A register is a small amount of storage that is for the CPU. A control unit will tell an ALU an operation to perform. The ALU will store the data in an output register which will then move in between both the ALU and memory. An ALU's task is to perform basic arithmetic and logic operations. Arithmetic operations consist of basic math operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Logic operations consist of AND, NAND, NORS, etc. In most computers, information is stored as a binary number. Trans transistor switches are used to manipulate binary numbers. An open transistor with no current is zero, while closed with a current is one. An ALU uses multiple trans transistors to perform different operations. Now we are going to build one in Cordis. This is how the entire ALU will look as a schematic. It may look extremely complicated, but don't worry. We will go over each step one by one. First we are to go over the counter portion of the schematic since it mainly consists of LPMs and VHDLs. Usually you will go and make a new file for each one, but we have them done already. We will first go over the VHDLs. Go to the upper left corner to open files, and let's go over each one since they are simple codes. First is the 8-bit NAND. Then an 8-bit NAND. Then an 8-bit XNOR. Then a 8-bit NAND for A1 and A2. Same goes for the second XNOR. Then a NOT A. Then a NOT B. Then a A or A B. Then a nor A B. We have finished the VHDLs. Now on to the LPMs. First is the LPM, add, sub, set it up to be addition only, and 8 bill. Also, keep it unsigned. Do the same thing for the second LMP, add, sub, but make it subtraction only. For the LPM divide, set both inputs to 8 bits and both numerator and denominator to be unsigned. Now we are going to show you how to build the multiplexer. All that is really needed is 12 inputs. You put as many inputs as you need 
but for this 12 will be okay. Now since that is done, all you will need is to follow the wiring instructions. Pause if you need to. When you are done, press the compile button. Now you are going to set up the waveform. Set the AB input values to any values you like. Here we have a hexadecimal values. Set the scale from 0 to 11, then press the compile button. These are the resoles for the board. Pause the video if you need to. We will be switching to the binary values to show how it will look on the board. These are the values that will be shown through LEDs on the DE2 board. Feel free to compare them. The results. Value for AND. Value for NAND. The value for NOR. These are just some of the answers, but you can see the LED represents the binary value as OFF equals 0 and ON equal 1. Hope you found this helpful. Have a nice day.